Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the different strategies in place to protect tropical rainforests at the local level. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. Local level actions are at the heart of sustainable rainforest management. For example, the environment and local cultures and traditions need to be understood and respected. Traditional skills and knowledge should be embraced and local communities should be at the centre of decision making. It is their land, so they should be able to control it and use it to generate income from them and their families. Finally, appropriate technology should be used, choosing machinery and equipment that doesn't cost huge amounts of money and can be maintained easily by local communities. Now, not chopping down the rainforest is the best solution for the planet. However, it is not a particularly realistic one. So therefore, small-scale forestry has to be part of any sustainable management solution for the rainforest. And there are three small-scale forestry techniques that help to manage the tropical rainforest in a sustainable way. Firstly, we have selective logging. This technique involves only felling trees that are fully grown. These are seen as less valuable ecologically, and that means younger trees can be allowed to mature and continue to provide protection from soil erosion, by binding the soil together with roots and providing leaf litter to help with nutrient cycling. The selective logging cycle lasts between 30 and 40 years, meaning that trees cannot be felled until they are at least 30 years old. Our second technique here is agroforestry. This technique involves growing crops and trees together. Farmers grow crops in carefully controlled, cleared areas within the rainforest, surrounded by plantations of trees. Annual food crops and tree crops such as coconuts are planted. Agroforestry can control runoff and soil erosion, thereby reducing losses of water, soil material, organic matter and nutrients. Our third technique is replanting. This technique recreates forest cover that has been lost and is almost the same as the original forest. Seeds are collected from the remaining patches of the original forest. These are then planted in nurseries so they can grow into saplings. Once the saplings are strong enough, they can be planted back into areas that have been deforested, where they will then eventually grow into full-size trees with almost the same DNA as the original forest cover. In addition to this, regional governments are clamping down to stop illegal logging. This is challenging due to the remoteness of parts of the rainforest, meaning that illegal logging can easily take place unnoticed. And this is happening on a large scale in tropical rainforests around the globe. However, by using satellites and drones, governments are able to monitor this more closely and they can prosecute those who are caught illegally felling trees. Another local level solution is ecotourism. Many countries with tropical rainforests have promoted their forests for ecotourism, with scenery, wildlife, remoteness and culture being the main attractions. Countries that have embraced ecotourism include Brazil, Costa Rica and Belize. The purpose of ecotourism is to educate visitors to give them a better appreciation and understanding of wildlife and local cultures, which will all benefit local communities and they will protect the environment in the future. Ecotourism is small-scale tourism and is entirely local. It is organised and run by local people, it creates jobs for local people, and it only uses local produce. Therefore, all of the profits stay in the local community and there is no economic leakage, which is usually an issue with tourism in developing nations. The money generated by ecotourism is invested back into conservation projects that retain and protect the rainforest trees. This benefits the government and local people. It is much more sustainable than cutting down trees for a short-term profit. Another local level solution is the creation of bioreserves. Some areas of the rainforest are left untouched except for being used for plant breeding and scientific research. At the centre there is a core area which is surrounded by a buffer zone. Inside this only certain activities are allowed and these have to cause minimal environmental damage. Sometimes lodges are built close by to enable tourists to stay there and learn about the environment. So therefore, it brings in an element of ecotourism. 
The final local level strategy is reducing the damage from mineral extraction. Mining is extremely damaging to tropical rainforests. One way of reducing the damage is to remove a layer of topsoil and ash from burnt timber and store this while mineral extraction is taking place. Once the minerals have been removed, mining companies can then replace the earth and cover it with the stored topsoil and ash, which should be fertile. They can do this before replanting the land with native tree species as a form of restoration. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the different strategies in place to protect tropical rainforests at the local level. Thank you for watching.